In this short recording, I would like to address a huge problem that I have spoken about before, but after my last recording was confirmed beyond a shadow of a doubt. Before I get to that though, I'd like to say that those who questioned the information that I shared, and specifically those that outright declared it as nonsense, the information I shared was obtained through connections in high places within a certain government institution. So this is the information that they have as well. I'm not in the business of spreading false information, rumors or panic, but when the information I have has the potential of saving lives, I will share it even if some people panic over it. The truth is that if you have been listening to people like myself and many others over the last few years, information like this should not make you panic at all. You would be expecting it. I have absolutely no reason to doubt the information at all. But remember, that if on the 23rd nothing happens, it does not mean that the information was bad. Things can and do change with circumstances all the time, so just be prepared for these possible events at all times. That way you don't have to worry about specific days or dates, etc. There is more to this story and I will be covering that in a follow-up video in a day or so. Ok, now on to the reason for this recording. What you are looking at now are comments left in the comments section of my last recording. These comments paint a very disturbing picture to me and shoot to you too. Let me explain. I know that a very large portion of the white population are battling to survive financially. I know this because I am one of them. For this reason, there are many of you, myself included, that cannot afford to prep in a meaningful way with regards to food supplies, ammunition and in this case, freeze-dried meals. Many of you can simply not afford to buy any of these freeze-dried meals that I spoke about, myself included, again. But having said that, I would like to ask if just because we can't afford these products, is it necessary to be jealous of those who can afford them? Is it necessary to state that the products are too expensive for the average man on the street? Even though I can't afford them, I don't think that they are expensive at all. Considering the process that the food has to go through before you can pack it into your bag or cupboard. In fact, I think it is good value for money and extremely handy. If I had the funds, I wouldn't hesitate to buy a two month supply today, but I don't and I can't. That doesn't mean that I should go around bad mouthing the product and or anyone who sells it. The fact is that I think, no I'll take that back, I know because I have sampled the product that these freeze dried foods are of excellent quality, are well priced and are simply delicious. I will once again leave a link in the description field for anyone wishing to top up their stocks of food without suffering a weight penalty for what I think is the inevitable disaster this country is going to experience sooner or later. I would also like to make a request to all who have bought some of these freeze dried products, please take just one of the meals you bought and prepare it as per the instructions. Eat it and send me a review to the email address in the comments field of this video. Your review could be published so please do not email me if you don't want your comments published. Ok, getting back to the negative comments on my last recording. Here is my problem with these comments. Why is it necessary to make derogatory comments such as I must own the factory that produces the food or that the only reason I made the recording was to promote the freeze dried foods etc. People, these are comments from jealous people and the only reason they are jealous is because they themselves cannot afford to buy any of it. That is the only reason and it is shameful. Another thing that showed its ugly head was that I was probably receiving a commission on sales of the food. I would like to ask what the problem is if I do receive a commission from the sales. I'm sure that just about all of you listening to this now have at some point bought an insurance policy from an insurance broker before. I'm sure that most have taken out a cell phone contract over the phone when someone from the cell phone companies called you with a promotion that they had. I know I have done both. In all those cases, the person that called you or sold you the policy received a commission from the company whose product they sold you. Why should it be a problem if I received a commission from the sale of these freeze dried foods? Those of you who did buy, I would like to ask you a question. When you bought the product online, did you see any additional charges to pay a commission to anyone? The truth is that the buyer does not pay a cent more than the advertised price whether they went directly to the website or if they go through any affiliate links. But the problem with these commenters is that they are jealous that I might just be making some money from the sale of this product. They couldn't care that the product is excellent quality. They couldn't care that it is well priced for what it is. They couldn't care that the packaging is first class, etc, etc. The only thing they see is me possibly making a few rand and they are not. That's the bottom line and is probably one of, if not, the biggest problem amongst us whites. 
We cannot stand to see our neighbors succeed at anything while we are not succeeding at anything ourselves. We will insult and accuse anyone who is succeeding of wrongdoing at the first opportunity. It is as if they don't want anyone to succeed, except when they succeed, of course. Then it's quite okay, and they immediately look down on the rest of us as soon as they experience any kind of success in life. It's the old fable of the crabs or lobster in a basket syndrome. They will all climb over each other to reach the rim of the basket, but as soon as one reaches the rim of the basket, the one below them will drag them down again to start all over. In other words, as long as we are all struggling together, we are happy. People, we need to get rid of this attitude. The sooner, the better. You will have noticed that I gave some really snide replies to a few of these commenters because I'm so tired of experiencing this attitude every day among our people. It is so destructive that if we don't fix it now, we can forget about surviving in this country. If you are one of these people, I am begging you to look inwards and see the damage you are doing. I am begging you to change your attitude today because tomorrow might be too late. This recording might not seem important, but in my opinion, it is one of the most important recordings I have made to date. Please take note. Take action before it is too late, my friends. Please like and share this on as many social media platforms as possible. It's the only way that my message gets out there. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, I have to ask why not. You have absolutely nothing to lose. If you would like to make a contribution to my channel, in the description field I have supplied ways in which both local as well as international listeners can make a contribution. If you would like to make a crypto contribution, also in the description field I have supplied a Bitcoin as well as an Ethereum wallet address. If you would like to contribute any other crypto, simply send me an email to the address also supplied in the description field and I will send you a, the relevant wallet address. For those comfortable using Zapper, simply pause the video and scan the Zapper code. Any and all contributions will be very much appreciated. To the amazing people who do contribute, I say a huge thank you. Your contribution is what has kept me going this year, and it is very much appreciated. Until next time, be safe out there.